ibyo ikora what he does ni kimenyetso gito cyo kutwereka kwiri kumwe na is just a glimpse of showing us that he is with us uburyo bwacu bwo gusenga our ways of praying nitubusanisha na bya bibazo when we connect it to the struggles turaba duhombye cyane we are just losing ahubwo dukwiriye gusenga we should pray kuko dufite iyo dusenga because we have a god whom we pray nibyo that's the reason nibyo rwose that's the that's it gusenga tugeze mu makuba nibyo we pray in trouble times it's Gus, true kuririmba nibyo singing is okay ariko ndagira ngo imirimo yanyu but i want our good works mubanze muyikure mu mirimo y'Imana take away from god's work cyo shaka kuvuga niki what i want to say is this nuko ibyo yabagiriye what he has done for you yabigiriye abatizera he has also done it to unbelievers ibikorera basenze and he did it to the people who prayed nabatarasenze and even the ones who didn't pray itandukaniro muri iyo mirimo rero and the difference or the diversity no, among the works nuko abatizera musangishimwe is that even the non-believers you were sharing that one he bagira ingendo yo kwizera they do not have the work of faith ntabwo bagenda nkuko umwamashaka they do not walk worthy of the lord baguma kugenda nkabo they just walk as themselves but among the thanksgiving and the generosity those who believe tugira ningendo yo kwizera we also walk as worthy of the lord mugenda nguko mwamashimwe go as worthy of the lord hallelujah amen wasenza rubaka the one who prayed can build a house wasenza riga the one who prayed can even study it is a miracle that even the one who didn't pray can do the same but the difference niyo mwaba muri muri bis imwe even if you are going under the same bus niyo mwaba mwicara mu mwanya umwe mu ndege even if you are seated on the same uh, line in the plane intebezegeranye then chairs are closer to each other but the reason why we are seated there is different from their reasons of them being there why urugendo rw'umukiranutsi the journey of a righteous person bibiliya yaravuze ngo umuntu ategura urugendo the Bible says a man determines his journey. And God accomplishes his steps. And blesses them. Izo ntambwe Imana igena mu rugendo. The steps that God de- determines in a journey. Habwa ari rusange. It's not general, it's not abaj- common. Abagenda bose because everyone who works they don't go in the plan of god but the one who work as god desires even if he is crying and from the tears that comes from the deep sorrow of the heart or in the bottom of the sorrow god puts a foundation of joy in a midst of oh, weeping God places joy he gives joy Frank yararirimbye Imana imuhumugisha Frank sang may God bless you Yaravuze ngo ibibazo ufite And he say the challenges that you have Ufite none that you have now Ngo nibwo It's your testimony for tomorrow Ngo nibwo it's your testimony for tomorrow. And he said the word that oh, I loved. I listened to it many times more than any other word. I put on a repeat mode over and over to listen to that. And when it goes beyond, I comes back to it. And he said if the world has heard the good news and lived and even the dry bones heard the word of life and became alive what's the kind of your challenge or your trouble that cannot listen to the word of God May God bless him. Oh, 
When God has called the world, the world were not in existence. By the time God called the world, the world was not there. In its unexistence, the voice of the world has reached to the world. And the world knew that he was called. And he responded and become alive. A person who works as worthy of the Lord. In his daily life. He is surprised by the things he never knew they exist. God called beyond the waters. Beyond the ears, beyond the thoughts, beyond the wisdom, beyond the promises, in his holy place, he calls the plane. And when he calls, he responds. The person who works worthy of the Lord is the one who responds. He calls your wedding without taking care of the witch man in front of you. He calls your laughter without taking care of your tears. He calls your offspring Regardless of your barrenness. When you have worked as worthy oh, of the Lord. He said when you are into my things. I will be into your things. I wish God can settle in your things. And be in the places where you are. In the places you are not. May God be in the things you know. And the things you, are not, you do not know yet. May God be praised. For a person to walk as worthy of the Lord. The, the Bible says he has to hold or to have faith. I'm not going to delay on that. But what is faith? It is not waiting for the promises of the Lord. It is to accept what God has done in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That's faith. When you have faith Accepting what God has done Jesus Christ You have the life that goes through the, uh, the tomb the life that goes through death and comes into life you are, uh, you are receiving the death of life and life of the soul you are living like a person who went through death this is what Paul said he said I died with Christ but I'm alive. But truly I'm not the one who is Christ me. But Christ in me. This is the amazing thing. When they looked at Paul. They couldn't see Jesus. They could see Paul. They could see Paul. They could see Saul or Paul. But when he was feeling his inner life, he could see her tested to death. He knew death. And death knew him as well. But he knew that the recognition of Paul in death is not Delaying, delaying in death. In other words, his life through faith has given him the power to accept to die. After accepting to die, he received the life of eternity. And that's the life of a believer. When we believe the Bible makes us the new creature people who are not normal extraordinary creatures when we say it's extraordinary creatures your work is different from the people you just work together
I want you to understand this. When you are a spirit filled creature, ugenda nanabantu mu muhanda you go with people in the in the road but your destination is different from their destination you live together in a work area but you also have another place where you dwell we share the market we get our food from but we have another life. We also dress the same clothes. But we have a special garment. We also look like the But we have another body. To be an extraordinary creation. It is the life of God that lives in us. It is expanded according to the time we spend with you. The power of God in us they're becoming larger according to the time we spend with you. The time we worship and pray we are creating new powers. When we pray we are renewing our souls. We are getting new power. The amazing thing. When we pray, we pray from this place. But the one who responds to our prayer doesn't get answers from this place. He becomes from his holiness. Why is holiness of God comes to us? Solomon said the word do not be ego to speak before God because God who dwells in heaven he is a holy God and we are dwelling in the world and we are clothed in a flesh why does holiness meet with us we were shifted from the worldly people and we were placed in the journey of the Lord. When a, pl a person is in that journey, the Bible says work as the worthy of the Lord. You are coming from a certain place because of God. And you are taken to another place by God. This is the reason why a person who who works as worthy of the Lord. I plead with you, do not delay on the side of promises. But come in the side of authority and power of God. When you delay in promises, you, uh, you, you are left comparing yourself with others. But when you are in the midst of the power of the Lord, you you see, you are not just like everyone else. You do not talk like them. You don't walk like them. You don't dress like them. Everything that you do, it includes the praise of the Lord. May God be praised. Is there anyone we're together? What I pray for and I pray for myself I also pray for myself May God give you to walk as worthy of the Lord Amen. May God be praised there is a man who pleased me. It is just an idea I got from Facebook. He is an intercessor, a man who is an intercessor. He got married, but he couldn't have children. And he was so poor up to the point he was about to die. The, the woman who gave birth to him was blind. But she worked as worthy of the Lord. One day when she went to pray, 
Imana yabera imwe Imana yacu. The, ma- the God of righteous was the God of us. Yama nivuga. The man the God who speaks. Iramanuka ivugana nawe. He came down and spoke to him. Iramubwira ngo mubibaza ufite byose. And he said the midst of your challenges. Saba chimwe. Ask me one thing. Chimwe gusa. Just one thing. And I will do it right away. And he just said I could ask for my mother to, to, to get the vision or the sight. And he even saw like giving birth. Being rich. He couldn't see a thing to choose. And he said, when I become rich, I couldn't have children to feed about, uh, about my richness. When my mom is, gets back the vision, she won't see my offspring. When I give birth, my mother could not recognize my children because she's blind. And she, she, he thought, and he said to God, I want to see my mother seeing my children I want to see my mother seeing my children eating from a golden plate. Yes. I want to see my mom looking at my children eating from a golden plate. There is no golden plate in a poor poor family. The mother could not recognize the children before he gets back the sight. He cannot see that she cannot see the children when he hasn't won. And he said, because wisdom dwells together to my authority. Your wisdom has dwelled near and closer to my power. And he said, I'm doing it. Hallelujah. What Solomon did, Solomon did not repent of the sins of his father. He didn't come back to win. He didn't ask for a sword to kill the enemies of his father. And he said, There is something you are pleased with. You love fair judgment. And you have, you like a person with pure wisdom. And for that reason, fill me with wisdom for me to judge your people fairly. And God said, you are the king I desire. When you walk in worthy of the Lord, God dwells next to your wisdom. Amen. I was once very poor. You see visitors in Rwanda. In the Ministry of Agriculture, they called me. And they said, come and help us to interpret. It was just the second day praying uh, in prayer garden to Masasu's place. When you have dwelled in the promises of God, you walk according to the challenges you have. But when you have dwelled in the power of the Lord, you walk as a victorious person when you are still on the battlefield. May God bless you. May God bless you. I heard the phone call from the ministry. It is Aniseti, yes, it is I. I am by this name, I'm from the ministry, we have visitors and we need your help. Come quickly. And I went. With my Bible and went. 
wadufashe. And when I reached they said you are going to serve with us for 6 days. Turaguhangahe. And they asked how much money do you want? Turaguhangahe. How much money do you want? When you walk as God desires, you, he lives, he dwells next to your wisdom. When I wanted to ask of the money, my mind brought me to the challenges I had. And I said, if I ask them of money, they are going to give me as I want. But if I want them to decide for me, they are going to give me according to their decision. And the spirit of the Lord told me, if you request the money, they are going to give you, yes, the money. But if they, you ask under the money they have uh, determined for you, they are not going to use it again. But if you let them decide for you, the next time they are calling you, and I also said, I just want to contribute to my country development. I'm going just to give it a contribution. And he said, what are you saying? Those days I didn't have a special pl plan. I can give it as a <laughs> contribution. And he laughed. And he took the phone and said, the one I got is the one I wanted. <laughs> And whatever comes in the, from the hands of the elders, you keep it a secret, but it was enough. According to how they accounted for me one day. Even if they had told me to work for two months, I couldn't ask the money they gave me for one day. They counted six days. And I could see the driver of the ministry. He's just dropping me home or he's coming to take me. What I want to say is this. Beyond what you see, there is what God has prepared you to If beyond what you have prepared you, there is what beyond what you've thought of. This time, do not rush to ask but instead do what is required because what you inquire of the Lord he has kept us in the things he asked you to do. When you do what God desires you will get what you desire from the Lord. In the will of God there is enough there is enough there is enough. Hallelujah. May God be praised. Anna was a parent. But she went to pray. She didn't just say, God, give me a son. And he said, you do not na, have a prophet. Na er in Even El is no longer righteous man. You do not have a prophet, neither priest. But there is something else. You see, I do not have a son. If you give me a son, and my barrenness is taken away, I will give him back to you to get a profit. We thank you, God. We thank you again, God. You the God who is Almighty. Mindset lead us. And they 
give their feet to our Lord. But today we are humble before you. That our journeys may encounter your will. That our lives may counter with your desires. Enable us to work in the worthy of your glory. That's why we are praying for our sister. And I also pray for myself. For the blessings you are giving to this congregation. That we may all share unto each. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.